Number one, Fenty is official. Fenty is official. Fenty is official. Are you ready for Fenty? Let's put it up on the screen. So Fenty, Rihanna's new um, label that she's been slaving over has. Oh, oh, oh let's pause this. Oh, oh, that she's been slaving over and creating over the last few years has finally, finally made an appearance, and people are hyped. I'm. I know I'm hyped. Am um, I? You hyped? Let's check out the video and see what she's doing because I haven't actually seen the video myself. Actually, um, let's see what it's all about. I saw the pictures of her actually in the New York Times magazine. It looks fucking phenomenal. And I was like, whoa, Rihanna's fucking going for it. So let's see what she has to say here. Let's put it up on there. Boom. Let's get up. Love the music already. Oh, wow. Love the backdrop. It reminds me again. I love the kind of, um. who does that kind of background stuff? Um, Undercover does that quite often, right? Um, I think it's main, mainly, is it, a, is it a projection? I think it might be a projection. He has a sheet and they project like kind of, you know, scenarios behind uh, the model. Um, so it might be like standing on the highway. It might be sitting down in the park somewhere. I quite like that kind of thing. It's it's a really good way to. Um, it's probably a great way to make a cheap. It's a great versatile way to make a you know a cheap versatile way to make like a a really expressive kind of lookbook. Let's check it out. Oh, I love the shades. Okay, the shades are what I saw her wearing before prior. <laughs> wow, love it. Love the suit, double breasted. Is that a sweat? Is that a jumpsuit down the right? Yep. What do we have here? Oh, I love that little denim suit there. I think that's a jumpsuit there. We've got a nice little dress there. I love that little bomber jacket with the skirt here as well. It'll, it'll probably be all women's, I'm assuming, right? That probably makes more sense. I doubt they're going to go into uh, men's clothing. There might be some stuff that is kind of like um, gender neutral for the most part. Someone might be able to jump on. But I like the heels as well. The heels look amazing. Nice shoes. But again, it really matches up well with her overall style, Rihanna style in, in the main part. Look at me psychoanalyzing a fucking 45 second clip. But you know, it's Rihanna, man. You got to do this shit. Ooh, all white looks as well. Me like, me like, me like. Ah, oh, the earrings look amazing. What are those? They got a little clip over on the top. Maybe they clip into your top little thing there. I love that shirt again. Okay, nice. Ooh, look at Rihanna styling it. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Darian styling it, yeah, sick. Yo, if, if Rihanna turns into a fucking bona fide fashion designer, this is a what a time we live in. If this happens to be the case, wow. Oh, I love her. I love her. Okay, cool. Now, nice little set design change again. I love the glasses again. I love the top. This, oh, there's a guy there wearing a suit. Then, so, um, like I said, there might be some gender neutral bits and pieces floating out there. Fan of the earrings look really great there. Oh my god! Oh my god! That blouse is amazing with the the one where the shaved head there a little bit. Oh, I love the logo as well. Okay, definitely a uh, motorbike. You know, Rihanna loves a good motorbike. That might be a good way to actually bag Rihanna. You know, turn up in a fucking motorbike. She might she might be down or not. Oh, I love the jacket Rihanna's actually wearing. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a really famous hairstylist, right? I forgot his name, the guy with the beard. I forgot his name, though. Um, very famous hairstylist, right? Someone could remind me in the comments, probably. But yeah, the Jackie Rihanna's wearing is not bad either. The Parker. Oh, is that the logo? Oh, Fenty! Look at the logo! Look at the logo! Look at the logo! The logo is a win already. Get that on the hoodie. I'm wearing it. Get that on the fucking hoodie. Honestly, get that on the hoodie. I'm wearing it. Get that on the hoodie, and I'm wearing it. That looks fucking banging. Oh my god. Sure, okay, let's go again. Wow. 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 That's Paris, right? Okay, wow. I'm game. I'm game. I'm game, man. I'm game. I'm in. I'm in. Fenty, take my money. Take my money. Number one, the glasses I probably end up buying. Number two, the uh, anything with a logo on it is something I'm going to get. Whether it's hats, whether it's bags, I'm sure they're going to, you know, smash that. Shit. You know, if you're going to show a 45 minute clip, you know, no point showing logo to you. You're probably going to show stuff that you've actually cut and sewed and stuff. Great. It's going to be great to see the stuff that she makes because she's a real big fan of that kind of boxy Vetterman Balenciaga look. But she also wears very slinky kind of Thierry Mugler 
Moschino, um, whatever brand that she wears, I see sometimes other stuff anyway as well. So I'll go, I'm interested to see what the shapes are, shape wise, what they kind of look like. Um, the glasses, of course, it, they look banging because I think she's got very, very good taste in sunglasses. Her and the styling team know what really accentuates her face and makes her look the way that she does. And yeah, I think it's going to be a win. I think um, LVMH Group is it LVMH Group, right? That put money behind her. I think they realize the power of this woman. Like she's just another level of a. Uh, I think it's, she's up there or maybe a bit further along than maybe a Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner maybe appeals to a more of a younger audience and maybe the look is a little bit more less premium right less luxury because i think she wears a lot of fashion over shit and i'm not sure i've seen rihanna wear fashion over she might have done it in the past for a brand collaboration but she always strikes me more as a person aspirational figure right if you're a if you're a girl that follows rihanna you kind of want to wear the stuff she wants to wear she wears one day whereas with, with whereas with kylie i always feel as if like um she wears what she wears in order for you to then go and get whatever you can get from your kind of price bracket for the most part right um unless she's wearing you know the lasagna shoes and handbags but you can kind of get that look for cheap if you want to because for the most part you know people the stores in general tend to copy what she wears and kind of iterate it out in cheaper materials but this fancy collaboration looks fucking awesome i'm a fan of it wow 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 congratulations rihanna um that looks fucking banging and i can't wait to see it um on the runway really um it's gonna debut this season right i think so is it debuting this season should be the this season anyway but yeah it looks amazing fenty is official rihanna's stepping into the stepping into the ring and saying here here's my stuff right finally going from a consumer to a creator and that's the, always the best journey isn't it there was a point in time especially during the whole uh kanye era when he was first doing showing his show in the paris fashion week uh, runway wherever which is kind of you know um badly received by the critics but for us fans of design for us fans of getting your work out there for us fans of shipping for us fans of being true artists right because true artists don't just make true artists don't just pontificate true artists they actually they actually ship their items you know you can get it you can feel it you know mm -mm -mm. so what what i was more impressed about was Kanye's ability to actually get it done, right? He spent so many years complaining, right? I'm um, telling us how racist and how oppressive the whole fashion industry structure is. And, you know, to some extent, it really is in that way still too at the moment. You see the kind of unfair criticism of someone like a Virgil gets um, compared to like an Anthony Vaccarella or whatever, right? He spent most of his time copying or trying to emulate the past um, brilliance of uh, Heidi Slimane at St. Laurent, but no one sees the bat an eyelid. Uh, Virgil copies or it takes inspiration of a couple of designs. All of a sudden, he has to get counted so you see the kind of disparity in some of the criticism in fashion but it's kind of instead of just complaining about that stuff finally put his money where his mouth is literally right and got into massive amounts of debt if you believe what he says and decided to put on the fashion show by himself for the most part. I think he funded it out of his own pocket, which, you know, if you know anything about fashion shows, you know that costs up to upwards of £200,000, um, maybe even more, millions, when you include the production of the actual garments themselves. Um, some Most of it didn't go into actual manufacturing, but just the, the exercise of, oh, no, I'm going to do it. And he did it himself. And it was fucking cool just to see it done, right? Like, wow, to see Kanye come out at the end of that runway was like, brain it blew my mind it blew my mind same way like you know when i found out who oswald Bowden was for the first time right getting into fashion you're like shit the dude out here looks like and you forget how you forget how important that sort of thing is nowadays and imagine you're a kid now coming up and seeing someone like a rihanna you know having a runway show in paris right backed by lvmh group uh with a high levels of manufacturing that um, finished like as well as anything you'll see in selfridges um something that appeals to people like a, an amazing diverse um cast of models right new faces great makeup great hairstyling it's going to be like like there is no there's honestly no limits whereas beforehand you know the kind of whitewashing of the industry it was quite safe the same old names moving from house to house now that injection of newness is kind of erupted not only in the kind of subculture of fashion because i think weirdly enough the subculture of fashion still wants the kind of craftsmanships the kind of old names to be in these houses they don't really want the likes of the heron Prestons, the matthew williams um whoever else you might name to be the kind of people that get propped up they'd rather it be their friends or people that they know or that like really cross people which is kind of weird there's a little bit there's still a little bit of a of a ceiling there for the most part but imagine just just imagine the exercise in ability the exercise in um possibility just looking at that runway show at the end and seeing Rihanna run out at the end of it, like whoa, that's major. And I can't wait to see what she does, really. And I'm, 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 I'm expecting big things in general because the makeup's been really successful. She's kind of smashed it out of the park, and it's gonna be cool. But I guess for people waiting for her album, <sighs> you have to wait a bit longer, sirs.